Hello, last night I went to a screen of Emperor's New Clothes that I'm recommending that you see. There's an election coming up, everyone's talking about politics, and you lot have got stuff that you're saying to me. Here's a little bit of Emperor's New Clothes. Bankers made hundreds of billions in the run-up to the crash, then all of us gave them hundreds of billions to pay off their debts. So we were in debt. Cheers. Because we are all in this together. As you know, part of the trues is me and you's truesers communicating. Here's some of the stuff you're saying. Sydney Lam or Sydney I Am. By the way, truesers, are we trending? Things can change on 24th of April or what? Yeah, hashtag things can change. Because the thing is with this film, because it's not Avengers 2, which I bet is bloody brilliant actually, it's hard to get it in cinemas. If you want to see it, you have to go to ourscreen.com. Ourscreen.com, go to that. Billy Bob Blowhard. Unfortunately, I feel there won't be any revolution because far too many people are distracted by sports, appearance, their weight. I was going to overthrow the government, but got to lose a couple of pounds first for the old winter weight. Got to get my bikini body back. I literally do think things like that, except I never wear bikinis again. Soaps, pressure at work, making ends meet, and all other sorts of distractions that modern life places on us. That's the very thing we need to overthrow though, mate. It's not that the revolution is simply, oh bloody hell, let's snatch that stick out of the Queen's hand and kick over David Cameron's briefcase. No, it's a revolution in our own lives. It's a refusal to be contained. We can wander into the world and live in immediate wonder. No, I can't, I've got bills to pay. You trust me, you have a little bit of faith, as Georgie Michael might have said. <laughs> Billy Bob continues, I would love to behead the likes of Cameron and Ian Duncan Smith. You can't behead people, mate, that's very unfriendly. <laughs> this is what we've come to expect as normal. It doesn't have to be like this. You've got to have some bankers going to prison for criminal behaviour. <laughs> I'm looking for Fred Goodwin. We're from Subsection, please. Did Come you know about the 500 million in bonuses last year? Did you get some of that? No, I'm not. I'm starting to think that you're involved in some high level financial skullduggery. Jazz Crat Singh. Looks awesome, but why is he speaking slowly? I did wonder that, but you get used to it after a while. I'm speaking slowly because I'm doing my I'm in a film voice. All companies should have workers, consumers, and members of the community represented on the board so they can be part of the conversation. Here's my I'm Hop voice. Hello, I'm Hop. Here's my I'm Arthur voice. Hello, I'm Arthur. Here's my I'm Rockstar or So voice. I'm um, Rockstar or the Snow. I need a hat for that, that's quite a hard character. Mark, the Reckonist, Stafford. It's a sad state of affairs when Russell Brand is more electable than any of the polished turds asking for our votes. It is, isn't it? Me, a self-confessed idiot in a brand new merch sweatshirt. Not available yet, but they will be soon. All the money goes to good causes. Me? Bad news fairy, Trues, the movie. Well, if you watch all the way to the end of Emperor's New Clothes, and I don't recommend it, sneak into another cinema, see Avengers 2. No, do watch all of it, watch all of it. You'll see at the end, Trues comes up as a thing, doesn't it? We was well proud when we saw it. That was, some say, the best bit of the film. Hey, there's that dog. When I was a kid, I used to go in the cinema. Did you do this or are you still a kid? Go in the cinema, watch the thing you're meant to see, and then just sneak off and watch something else in the next room. Maybe you're coming in the middle and think, oh, what the hell's wrong with Julia Roberts? Why is she crying? This doesn't make sense at all. There will be cutbacks, closures, jobs will be lost. Did the bankers pay back their huge bonuses? No. They carried on making more money. Purple Cat, 1989. I'm not his biggest fan, but what he's saying is the truth. Not one of those banking ducks went to jail. And the politicians don't give a shit about the working class. They care about their bank balance and keeping Wall Street happy. Fuck them. They all need jail. You might be right, mate. You might be right. But increasingly, I'm thinking of trying to be compassionate to everyone, even the politicians and the royal family. It's not really about being mean and victimising and vilifying people. It's more about resources. There are resources and they're all bottled up and trapped somewhere and we have to go, sorry about that, Mum, but the resources have got over there. Can I keep the crayon? No! <laughs> Kayleaf Storsey. Dude, be careful. These bankers will kill you. God bless. Don't give me an evil prophecy and then bless me in the name of our Lord. Uh, the, will the bankers kill me? I run past them every day. I don't dislike the bankers, it's the institutions. They're all people. Loads of them people on stock trading floors are from where I'm from. Grays, Romford, all around there. They're just trying to make a crust. Electra. It's sad to see, as a student in America, one who works his ass off every single day to maintain a high standing grade point average, to see that I have to pay thousands of dollars just to earn yet all these executives responsible for the subprime mortgage, sorry, mortgage crisis, managed to keep hundreds of millions of dollars by lying and buying their way through Congress. And yet, I sit here in debt as a student. Student debt is one of the things covered in Emperor's New Clothes. Some students go up to 80 grand in debt. 
I've just heard that a normal private school can cost 40 grand a year. Something's got to be done. All the money's gone into the wrong places. Some people can like, pay 40 grand a year for a little seven-year-old kid. Students have to go 80 grand in debt to learn to be a doctor. It just doesn't make proper sense, does it? This is the institutionalization of greed. Yeah. It's Russell Brand to speak to Lord Rothermere. Say it's about uh, living here and taxes. Hello? Emily S. My dad used to say he loved capitalism, so I dragged him along to see this, and he's finally seen the light. I love capitalism, I love it! It's shit, isn't it? It's a good film, I'm feeling so inspired. Thanks for everything you do, keep up the good work. Thanks, Emily S. Steve H88. Like a thin British Michael Moore when he confronts people. Love it though, can't wait to see it. I like the idea of a bit of thin British Michael Moore. Hello, I'm Michael Moore. Oh, good day, sir. Would you mind opening up your bank accounts? UKIP voter. Hey, Russell. You fucking cunt. <laughs> <laughs> Bloody hell, mate. Steady off. This is the opening gambit. Where are we going to go from here? You may have called Nigel Farage a pound shop Enoch Powell, but you're a pound shop Michael Moore. Oh, that's not good. You're using my format. Michael Moore's a really good bloke. I mean, it's terrible, this. Seriously, you're so shit. You even look Michael Moore look somewhat competent. I'm going to change that so your insult makes sense. You even make Michael Moore look competent. At least his stunts were somewhat original. Last bit did hurt a bit, but <laughs> I'm trying my hardest, you. Probably for you. I see you've got an England flag there. You probably like UKIP because you think Nigel Farage seems sort of like, Hello, right, now these lot, we can't trust them, can we? Look at them, they're autocrats. Excuse me, I'm trying to do it all. You like all that. I like that, that's nice. But that leads to this constant blame immigration. Look at this thing from Cassette Boy. Employment legislation. Blame immigration. Excessive regulation. Blame immigration. Bad education. Blame immigration. No qualification. Blame immigration. Radicalization. Blame immigration. Unhappy situation. Blame immigration. The intimidation in our nation. When we blame immigration is a total abomination. Nigel Farage is not going to do anything to help you, mate. Nothing. It won't. Honestly, if we tomorrow kicked out every single person who even had one brown grandparent or someone with an accent anywhere near them, David Cameron's family have still got a hedge fund. George Osborne's family have still got hedge funds and offshore bank accounts. He's a sort of a smokescreen. <laughs> Literally. Kirsten Martin. Mr. Brand, please release this in the States. I don't typically have the spare money to go to the cinema, but for a movie that's actually trying to empower the viewer, I think I could manage the expense. Aw, oh, you could probably get it for free off the internet. Come on, you look quite young in your picture. Get it for free using your skill and wiles. Or go to this thing, our screen, but that's probably English. Or start some big internet campaign to bring it to America, and then there will. Everyone will do anything. That's the thing about capitalism is, if there was money in punching their own grandmothers in the face, they'll do that. That's how we're gonna bring them down. Every crisis is an opportunity to change the system, to change direction. Power isn't there, power is here. The Benin Estates did pull out of the purchase of the estate, so that was yeah, amazing. That was amazing. Our challenge as people is to say, we will not let this happen anymore. We will bring back power into our own hands. Things can change things do change. Well, thank you very much for watching this episode of Truths. Do go and see Emperor's New Clothes. Do contribute to that hashtag thing. They all seem so into things can change. And more importantly, take the message to your heart. If you go and see Emperor's New Clothes, sneak into Avengers 2 after. Without paying. Right? Thank you. Thank you. Because we're leaving them to their own devices, the poorest are making all of the sacrifices, the cost of living prices, house prices, the cost of a deposit. I don't give a shit. But yes, of course, we should address it. So we will blame the deficit on people claiming benefits. And as we debate what people get from the state, we don't care about how long people have to wait in A&E. We don't care about your GP. We have to get the money. It's important to me. And as the NHS is being sold off, it's businesses that get the profit in their pockets. Make sure the tops stay better off. Make sure the money stops at the top. Take every penny from the hands of the many and give everything to the few. a tool that is abused to fool you and to leave you scared and confused. Trues is like the news. If the news was true, I want some trues. Let's have some trues.